Hey everyone, this is the start of a new series of videos where I talk about some Japanese trivia and nuances lost in the translation of an anime. In this case, for the winter 2024 anime, Dungeon Mishi, made by the studio Trigger. First, for the translation of the title, there isn't much to say. It was made into Delicious in Dungeon, from Dungeon Mishi, which could be interpreted more literally as something like Dungeon Meal or Dungeon Food. It also uses strictly the English word of Dungeon. At the beginning of the episode, when the narrator talks about the story of the man that was found in the newly opened dungeon, the English subtitles doesn't give a time frame of the kingdom he was supposedly the king of. It only says a once prosperous kingdom, but in Japanese, they directly say Issen Mai, a thousand years ago. And the prosperous kingdom is also originally Ogon no Kuni, literally country or kingdom of gold. When Lars realized that the battle against the red dragon wasn't going as he anticipated, the line, we are all them, might not be translated the best way in this exact context, since the world of the Surrey doesn't seem to be dealing normally with them. It seems to be pretty common to revive people. The Japanese use for this was Zenmetsusuru, to be totally defeated or to be wiped out. The term used for dungeon in the series is Meiku, which can be used to talk about a dungeon especially in video games, but it also brings a strong meaning of a labyrinth or a maze. After the remaining gang regain consciousness and realize that they are basically cleaned out, a common Japanese expression was used to express it, Ichimon Nashi, literally without one mon. A mon was an older type of currency that started during the Muromachi period until the end of the Edo period. It was a pretty small currency that could be nowadays the equivalent of a tenyan. And because of that, if you didn't have a mon, it was pretty much synonym to being broke. The expression became common enough to be still used today, even if the currency stopped being used almost 200 years ago. For those curious about the text in the letter of resignation that was shown on screen, it translates to something like For personal reasons, please let me, or us, resign. March 16, year 514. And it's not necessarily literally March, since in Japanese, March is literally third month. Just to point out that when Marcel said their soup dumplings are to die for. She wasn't making a joke despite the situation. In Japanese, it was suboku oishi, which is something like very good, tasty. When Laios explained his strategy to save his sister, the line will secure food from within the dungeon, was using the expression jiku jisoku, a four character expression to mean self sufficient. And it's written literally as oneself, salary, oneself, and leg, earning your own salary with your own legs. The food guide is originally gurume guide, a gourmet guide. In the former cemetery that is now filled with a bunch of people, what we see written on the stone that two people are leaning against is Daostoke no Haka the grave of the Kraus family. When Lyos is discovering a new insight into fighting mushroom-type monsters, he used a specific expression of slashing diagonally that is used when talking about cutting someone with a sword. It was Kesagini, to describe an attack from the left shoulder of the enemy to his right hip. The expression is literally Kesa cutting, referring to a type of robe worn by monks that goes over the left shoulder. The name of our dwarf Senshi can also mean warrior in Japanese, and the researcher 
original Japanese term Tankyusha, that was used as the meaning of his name in Dwarvish, could be interpreted more as a searcher. During one of the scenes where Marcel tries to negotiate what will be eaten, Laios makes a little play on words that was translated into free lunch and then flesh-eating lunch. The Japanese version used an expression to talk about something really convenient, kamoga negi o shottekuru. The literal sense is of a duck comes carrying a green onion on its back. The origin of the expression comes from a dish of duck meat that is often cooked with green onions. So it would be really convenient if a duck would come directly to you already carrying a green onion on its back. And little side note, it's also most certainly the story behind the Pokemon Farfetch'd, with its Japanese name being Kamonigi. Laios then changed the expression for Hitogui Nigi o Tsudeta Bakigamo, a monster duck bringing a man eating green onion. The text that was written on a piece of paper in the campsite inside the tree trunk was Tsukatta mono wa katatsuke yo. Let's clean up what we used. At the end of the episode, Laios is seeing the title of the show over and over. Dungeon Mishi. That's all for this episode, and I hope that you learned something interesting, and I'll see you all next week.